all of you welcome back once again let me show you how you can start blockchain hosting platform where you can allow user to host the file including the website tons of feature we have included in this particular decentralized app which can communicate with the blockchain so when the user will host the file you're going to charge commission on every single hosting so let me give you a complete walkthrough this is the exact type of project we have developed for one of our clients so i thought let's make a video and let's give you a complete walkthrough so this is the entire interface when the user will come and this is what exactly they will see so the very first section we have is our navigation section you can simply define your logo whatever you want to add it and we have a light to dark mode we can simply toggle between light and dark mode we have a wallet connection so i can simply click here i can denix connect my wallet i can click and i can connect my wallet and i would be connected with my metamask so when i will host the file when i will host the website i'm going to pay the commission so this is the hero section where we are displaying our title of our project what we have we have a lightning fast global distribution and permanent storage so whatever the file user are going to store once they will upload it would be available permanently on the ipfs so this one is really powerful it's a one time cost but the file would be available permanently on the distributed network so that's what we are highlighting here and from here they can easily be able to deploy the application their files that's all they can deploy so you will find that here we have couple of option user can deploy the html file css javascript or image these are the four option we are providing but you can add more section and when the user will upload the file we are charging 0.5 pool as a commission so all the transaction which i'm going to make on the actual polygon mainnet but you can do on the test network as well so once i will select the file i'm going to simply deploy it and here we have the footer section where we are providing all the important links which you can simply check from your end so this is our home page the entire landing page which user can use to upload the files now let's try to upload it so i have connected my wallet i'll click here to my browse file and here i have this particular options for example i want to upload this particular file which i want to upload so i'll simply click select click on open and here i have selected the file now i got the option called deploy file to app cfs and i'm going to pay this much cost so i'll click on this deploy and here the deployment is happening first i have to pay the transaction because this is the file which i'm deploying and i'm going to charge the commission for this particular one you can see i have paid the transaction cost and now you will find the entire details about the deployment so you have deployed your site successfully you got the url you got the ipfs hash this is the file size this is the date of the deployment and it's infinity so whatever file you have uploaded is going to be on the ipfs ipfs distributed network forever you can simply copy that one or you can simply visit or you can simply copy that from here as well here we have the gateway which you can check from here and you can see we have given couple of tips you can click here and you can visit the site so if i simply click here or click here it will open into a new tab and this is the file which i have uploaded which is on the ipfs so this is how you can deploy any type of file on the distributed network and you're going to charge commission from the user that's the one scenario now i'm going to give a reload i will come back to my hope section and now i can able to deploy html css or any type of file i can simply deploy it. i'm going to host html file i will deploy the website so i can come back here go back to this particular site right now you can see this particular application is running on my local storage this is the landing page for a developer which i'm going to provide so you guys can have a look so this is the landing page simple landing page it's a portfolio one and this is the one which i'm going to deploy now i will come back here i'll click on this i'll go back to the deploy section and and this is the html file which i have i will simply select and i will click on deploy so here i have selected the html file and i will click on this deploy i'll click on it and here the deployment is happening first i have to pay the commission so i'm paying the commission for the deployment just wait once the deployment will be complete you will find that here we got the details you will have the website url you will have the hash you will have the details about the file size and the deployment date infinity and the gateway now the moment you will click here it will come back here and right now you will get this particular option because we are using public protocol we are using the free version of pinata ipfs so if you want to upload the website you have to upgrade your account and you have to get the dedicated api because due to security reason pinata is not allowing us to upload the html file because in that we can run the javascript in that we can run the css that's why it's not allowing us to upload the html file because that's required a dedicated gateway you can simply upgrade your account and you will find that your website would be live currently i am on my test account so i cannot show you this is the another account which i have in which i have used the upgraded model and you will find that this is the application which is working fine which i have deployed 
So you have to get your own and upgrade your account. Then you can able to upload the HTML, CSS and JavaScript file. JavaScript file. So this application is really powerful. Recently, we have developed this application for one of our client where we are allowing distributed file storage model, including the website. So that's all we have. So this one is really powerful. I hope you have understood that how you can launch it and you can solve the real world problem where you can allow user to store the information onto a different distributed network where the file is going to be forever. So this project will teach you how to handle file on a distributed system. So you can easily able to perform multiple model on top of it. You're going to design your entire data set and you can use it. So this one is really powerful. So I hope you have understood that what exactly we're going to develop and how this entire application would take place and what are the feature and functionality we have included. So I can simply come back to the home page and give a quick. Now I will come back here. You can simply deploy any type of file which you want to deploy. It will work absolutely fine. So I hope you have understood that what exactly you will have in this particular project and how this project is helping and solving a real world problem. Now let me provide you all the assets and file which you need to have to develop this particular application and let me give you a complete walkthrough of the entire folder and file structure we have designed and all the technology we have used in this particular project. You can come back to the blockchain coder and here you will find all the project we have developed. We have more than 90 plus project we have developed which will teach you how to become a blockchain developer we have a variety types of project we have built so to get the startup file you can come back here in the source code section and there you will find all the project we have built so you have to build at least five projects if you really want to master blockchain development so come back here on top click on this click on this recent project and here you will have click on this it will take you to this particular section and from here you can able to download the starter entire startup file and you can understand that what are the package models we are utilizing it so every single detail is already provided to all of you guys here you will find the technology the feature which we are providing that what are the repository how we can simply initialize all of this model that's all the entire data structure is already provided so you can have a look and understand the entire full and file structure we have right up here okay now what i will do i'll come back to the blockchain coder now let me show you how you will do the complete setup of the final source code once you will get it so when you will take it you will give your valuable contribution to my team to bring more tutorial like that once you will download the final source code you will get the zip file make sure to extract the zip file in which you will have this particular folder in which you will have the complete source code of this particular project which you have seen in the demo including the portfolio template which i'm already providing to all of you guys so make sure to install a zip extractor in your system then you can able to extract this file and you will have this particular folder and this is the folder you have to open in your vs code so i'll click on my vs code i'll click on my vs code i'll go back to open i'll go back to desktop and this is the folder i have i've simply drag and drop in my repository let's make on the big screen and let me give you a complete walkthrough of this entire code of the particular project so the very first folder we have in our project is the component in which you will find all the component all the files which you need to develop this particular application so we have the icon in which we have the icon which we are using in this particular project just keep it as it is don't make any changes then we have the layout in which we have all of this regular component like footer header and layout just keep it as it is then we have the pages where we are injecting the entire main component of our application. So just keep it as it is. You don't need to make any changes. I tell you what are the changes you have to do from your end. Then we have the provider where we are handling the themes and the context management for the theme. That's what we have here. Then we have the results. So once we'll upload the entire document, we have to display the details. And that's what we have, the deployment result. And the last one we have is the upload where we are handling Pinata, IPFS and providing all the upload, all the modules and what type of files is supported. So right now we are supporting all of this file, HTML, CSS, JS, JSON, PNG, that's all the file. You can simply modify if you want to restrict to any specific file. And here we have the upload progress where we're displaying the progress bar when the upload is happening. That's all we have here. So this is the component section, very simple. The next one we have is the configuration for the wallet because right now I'm doing all the transaction on the Polygon main network, but you can do on the test network as well. There is no problem in that. And Polygon is really very cheap at the moment. And that's what you will find. So here I've done the entire configuration. You don't need to make any changes. If you want to do the configuration for any specific blockchain, make sure to simply replace these details for that particular blockchain and everything would be working fine so you don't need to make any changes all you have to do is to simply provide in the environment variable which i will tell you so close this one close this one we have this pages in which we have this app.js so you don't need to make any changes every single thing is good if you want to replace with any other network you can simply do the configuration in the environment variable and everything would be taking place so just keep it as it is here we have our index file which is the home page you can simply replace your title and provide all of the details so just keep it as it is don't make any changes close this one 
close this one we have the public in which we have the logo which we are displaying so you can change the image but give the exactly the same name so it will be reflecting in all the places in our application close this one the next one we have is the service service in which we have the payment so when the user will create we are charging commission so whatever commission you're going to decide in our environment variable that's what you're going to charge so that's all the we have here and we have the pinata which we are making the call and doing the verification and uploading the document to the IPFS. So this is what we have for the Pinata. Keep it as it is. The next one we have is the CSS. So this is the entire code we are using. So in this project, we are using Telvin CSS and here we have written a couple of custom classes to match our branding. So just keep it as it is. You don't need to make any changes. Now comes the most important thing, which is the environment variable. And here you have to provide your details. So come back here in environment variable and you will find that these are the details which you have to provide. So you have to get your project ID from connect wallet because we are providing to connection of the wallet. So that's what the API key you have to get. And here you have to get your own RPC URL API key, which I will tell you how you can get it. You can simply visit this particular application. And from there you can get your own RPC URL because this particular one will have a limited number of requests and you have to get your own JWP token, JWT token from Pinata IPFS because we are using their distributed network system for uploading the document to the IPFS. So you have to get that and you have to provide it here. Just keep it as it is. You can change the name of your platform. You can change the description of your platform. And currently I'm charging this much fund. You can charge any fund. I have deployed this application. So we are using this on a Polygon network, but you can use on any other network. This is the wallet address which I have given. So when I will, I'm going to charge and the commission and that commission is going to be received in this particular wallet address, which is my. And here we have the Polygon network configuration like the chain ID, chain name, symbol and the explore URL. And from here you can able to change the coloring. So if you want to add different color, you can simply modify and you can play with that. So this is the place where you have to do the modification and provide your details. I'll tell you how you can get your details. So close this one and we have the get ignore. Just keep it as it is. Don't make any changes. We have the code setup. So here you will find all the details. So this video, which I'm recording, that's what I'm going to attach here. So make sure to watch this video till then you will understand every single thing that what exactly you have got and how you have to do the setup of the final source code. So here I've given this one is the most advanced project which you can see to launch your token. So make sure to check this one. And if you have any question, make a shoot an email right up here. So I'll try to help you and give you the details. But make sure to watch this video till then you will understand every single thing. And here we have a couple of Solana projects which you can check. So these are the advanced Solana project we have, which is already live on the main net, which you can have a look. Got it? Close this one. We have the index. So this is the portfolio file which I have given. It's a developer portfolio template. So you can simply check from your hand, which is I have given. Okay, close this one. Now come back to the next config. Don't need to make any changes. Just keep it as it is. We have the packages and files. So we are using the most stable version. No matter when you are building this project, it will work absolutely fine because we are focusing on stability. So just keep it as it is. The next one we have is post CSS. Keep it as it is. We have the readme file. There have given all the instruction about this particular project, which you can have a look. So you can check all of these models. If you want to understand about the folder and file structure, that's also provided, which you can have, and you can simply check from your end. So every single thing is good. Now you can come back to the Telmin file. There you will find that this is the structure which we are following for animation, for color branding. So this is all we have. So you can simply play around with this, but I would suggest you to keep it as it is because this is well optimized. So this is the complete folder and file structure we have in this particular project. I hope you have understood that what exactly we have and how everything is working fine. Now, the first thing you have to do is to get your environment variables. So come back to the environment variables and you have to get your project ID. So to get that, you can simply come back here Open a new type, type wallet, connect, hit enter, and you will find this particular link. Click here. You will come back here. Make sure to create your account, verify your account. And once you will create your account, verify your account, you will have this particular option, cloud dashboard. Click here and you will come back to your dashboard. There you can able to create your project. So just wait. It's opening. And here you will find that it's open. Click on the project and there you will find all the project which you have created already. So to create a new project, you can simply click here. You can give the name. I'll say ipfs and you can give the domain url if you are hosting online and obviously you're going to host online so you can do it later click on continue and we are not using any one of this framework i'll select this one continue and here it's creating the project just a moment we got that now you can simply click on it and copy that id and that's what you have to provide here replace so we got our project id now that's the one thing you have to do got it 
you got your project id now you have to get your rpc url so to get that rpc url you can come back here type a r n k and hit enter this is the first link which you will find click on it and you will come back to this particular application make sure to create your account verify your account and log in so i will log into my account so finally i'm logged into my account and you can see the dashboard i can click on this chain list and there you will find the details so here you will find list of all the blockchain rpc url which you can pick but we are working on the polygon so i'll go with polygon and you will find this one click here click on this and you will get on for the main net you can do on the test net as well there's no problem in that so copy and that's what you have to provide here so i got it this is my you have to get your own so i got this one i got this one now you have to get your pinata jwt token this is what you have to get now so to get that you can type come back here type pinata cloud you will come back here simply log in create your account verify it this one is a really powerful platform which allow you to communicate with the distributed network so make sure to log in so finally i'm logged in and i have created my account already log in and verify it then you can able to create your api key and that's what you can use it so to create your api key you can come back here type api key you will come back here and here you will find list of api key which you have already created so to create a new key you can click here and i will type ipfs I want to have the admin level access click on this create and it's going to create and we have the api key secret key but we need this one jwt i'll copy that one and that's what i'm going to simply provide so make sure you have to get your own i'll simply replace this one i'll paste it i got it now keep this as it is you can change your name you can change your description i'm going to charge the same amount and it's on the polygon and this is where i'm going to receive the commission and this is absolutely fine and you can play with the color which you want to use as your theme so every single thing is good make sure to give your own address here now we are ready to test our application so i'll close this one open up your terminal if i show you my node version which i have currently i have the latest one if i show you my npm version i have the latest one there's no problem in that i can simply type npm i install and it will hit enter and it's going to do the installation of the packages so this might take a little bit of time so just wait so finally we're done with the installation you can see we are getting a couple of warnings simply ignore this one this one is not that important we are focusing on the stability so simply ignore this one clear the terminal and you will find that you will have this node module and you can come back to the packages and file and this is the command we have to execute this is the command dev got it type npm run dev and hit enter is going to start the application on localhost 3000 you can see we got it now simply copy this one and you can minimize this don't delete this one just minimize this now you can come back to the browser let's close this one close this one close this one and open a new tab hit enter and you can see our application is live right now i'm not connected every single thing is working fine close this one every single thing is working fine i can check the light and dark mode perfect i can click on this connect wallet click on this recent metamask let me give my credential got it here we have it click on connect and here our application is successfully connected and i have this much fund so i'm connected with my actual account in the polygon in which i have the fund and you can see all the commission which i have charged earlier every single thing is looking good all the things is absolutely fine now what i will do i'll come back here let's upload a file so i'll click here and i want to upload let's say this particular image one more time or i can simply go with this image or i can simply upload the pdf i can do that so let's upload this logo and i can click on this deploy one file to ipfs and here it's deploying we are charging the commission click on confirm and the transaction in the process just wait it's uploaded and we got the confirmation you can click here to visit and looks perfect so this is how you can allow user to upload the document to the distributed network and it's really powerful you can also create a api endpoint and you can give the access to the user so they can use call the api endpoint in the system and they can upload using your framework so this one is really powerful which allow you to communicate with the distributed network and upload the file so i hope you have understood that what exactly we have developed if i show you the responsiveness of this application it's 100 percent responsive for all the screen sizes it's really powerful you can click here you can close it you can toggle between light and dark mode you can simply copy this one you can visit or you can copy the ipfs you can see the distribution of the files that's all you will write you can simply reload the page and you will find you will find like this if i show you the responsiveness it looks wonderful on the 
mobile device as well. I hope you have understood that what exactly we're going to develop and how this application would work and what are the feature and functionality we have included. So that's the only thing I want to talk about it. If you have any question, any doubt, do let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to help you in that. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.